The next taping and wrapping that we're going to be doing is going to be for a wrap for a adductor, ADD, adductor uh, strain uh, for, for the, the leg, thigh. So this, we want to prevent uh, uh, adduction movement. For this one, we are going to need a double length wrap. Uh, again, depending on the size of the person, we can use a double length uh, six inch or a, a double length four inch wrap. So for the purposes of this, uh, I'm going to be using the four inch wrap. Uh, another thing that you're going to need is going to be some type of a heel lift. Um, and you can either have them, uh, depending on your size and height, uh, you can either have them stand on a table or stand on the floor, uh, whatever makes it easier for you. Uh, the next thing, um, as you have them um, stand, put their heel on the heel lift, one of the things that you, another thing that you want to instruct the, the patient to do is to internally rotate their hip slightly um, before they put their heel down. The other thing that you want to make sure is that when they are standing on the heel lift is you want to make sure that their knee is flexed and that their hip is flexed, okay? That the, it's not all ex extended. So, so again, you have internal rotation at the hip, you got slight flexion at the hip, and we have slight flexion at the knee. Uh, next we are going to grab our uh, four inch, okay? And again, ideally these wraps would go straight to the um, skin, to the um, uh, underwear or, or jock, whatever they might be, be wearing in a private area. Um, so at this one, um, again, you also want to find out uh, maybe where the, the pain is, because if it's, if it's low, obviously you're going to need to start your wrap low. If it's in the middle, uh, you want, would want to start in that, that appropriate area. So we'll say it's kind of here in the middle. Uh, not, another thing you want to make sure when you're using the wrap is that you're rolling it, um, so the wrap goes on top and not on the bottom. And for this one, we're actually going to start going in a medial direction. Okay, so I would start here, and again, if, if the patient has good arms, you're going to have him hold that, uh, and I would pull this uh, medially, going around the thigh, uh, pulling the wrap at about 75% elasticity, and as well as overlapping it at about 50%. Okay, once I get up towards the groin area, then I'm going to go around the hip. And then back to the groin, and this is, would be called a figure eight or a spica around the hip. And then I would go a second time around the hip. Again, I'm going medially around the thigh. I always want to finish on the thigh. So again, depending on how much wrap you have, you can go around uh, a few more times. Um, and with this one, again, you can either use uh, elastic tape um, again, going in the, the same direction. Uh, the elastic tape, uh, you should be fine. It has some elasticity. Um, and then the last thing that I want to share with you is, uh, like if I were to put some white tape around there, and if I wanted to go, um, uh, you know, around the thigh, I would have them uh, contract their, their quad while I put that on there. Again, I could, I could just put one piece, but if I go around, another thing that I want to share with you is if you wanted to find that piece of tape, uh, you can put a little tab, a, a fold at the end of the tape so that after they're done sweating, um, they be, they'll be able to find that, that piece, okay? Uh, you can check the assessment. You can ask, um, have them step off that and ask them if it, how, if it prevents them in uh, moving their uh, leg anteriorly. Uh, you also want to check a distal pulse either at the knee, ankle, or, or foot and sensation to make sure uh, they have sensation. And that is it.